So what are we going to do now? Mother? Mother! Mother! I'm assuming that's how you say it. Mother! Well, I think you have to. Because there's an exclamation mark. Yeah. That's right. Why? What? <laughs> no idea what to expect with this one. No, no. Heard, heard some strange things, but also not, you know, tried not to sort of hear too much. Yeah, heard um, good things and bad things. Apparently it's, it's gone rather favourably over here in the UK. Apparently the Americans hated it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that says, but... We're gonna find out. Yeah, let's find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was a film. <laughs> was it? That was, well, it was definitely. That that it was definitely a film. I, I think. think. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... laughs> well, I don't remember ever being so confused walking out of a cinema in my life. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna try and assemble our thoughts into three spoiler-free words before we dive into the, uh, <laughs> the whatever that was. Uh, so yeah, three words. Mother. <laughs> Sorry, mother. <laughs> mother. 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 <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. A little bit of Buster. A little bit. Of, yeah. Sorry. Three words. Um. I. It's I. What? I've, that's no. <laughs> no, those were sounds. Those. I, those were yeah. definitely sounds. I don't know if they were. Okay. So mine. Mine were. <laughs> fuck. No, that's not one of them. Um, it could be. <laughs> darkly comic mind fuck. Those are some good words. Mine, because in a great absence of words, I'm just gonna have to go with what just happened. All right, so, so yeah, that's the spoiler-free <laughs> version. Switch off now if you haven't seen it or you don't want spoilers, because we're about to go deep <laughs> into mother. Phrasing. <laughs> No. Phrasing. No. Phrasing. No. no. Oh, God. Turn it off. How do we even start talking about this film? I don't even. I don't even know where to begin with this because, like, normally we'd begin with a little kind of synopsis, right? But <laughs> good I don't luck, know. Good luck. That, good luck with that. Yeah. To, to quote your three words, what just happened? I can't even tell you. I honestly, I. I've never sat in the cinema, sort of almost open mouth, just gaping at the screen. Like, I just don't know what's going on. It's really <laughs> weird. So, okay, right. Let's let's try. Let's try. So, Jennifer Lawrence walks around a very large house that she shares with her poet husband in a in a nighty. He's a little <laughs> bit grumpy because he's not been able to write. So far, so normal. Yeah. Yeah. And then some strangers turn up, and then he invites them to stay, much to her chagrin. And then more strangers turn up, and then a SWAT team turns up, and she has a baby, and then they eat the baby, and then everything, ev like, what the f And she burns the house down, and then he, oh, wait, he actually, rips yeah. her heart out. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that bit. <laughs> yeah, she burns the house down, he's he rips not, her he's heart unscathed. out. He's unscathed, she's basically dead. And she wakes up as another woman. Yep. So this is the thing, like, I, I said, it, so I said it was darkly comic, and I mean, there were moments, there were actual laugh out loud, <laughs> loud kind of moments, although I don't know whether that came from just like, a general sense of uncomfortability, uncomfortability, did, discomfort. Where did you laugh? Like, what did you laugh at? Because I laughed a couple of times, but I don't know whether it was the same bit as you. So there's a bit where, okay, so everything, everything starts getting really weird, and it just progressively gets weirder and weirder and weirder, and basically loads of people ignoring politeness and social norms. So it's her house, she spent all this time doing up this house, and strangers keep coming in and wrecking shit, and so she re eventually, it, this escalates. Randomly repainting. Yeah, <laughs> and, and just occupying everything and eventually this just escalates to a point where she goes absolutely nuts and that's that's when i burst out laughing um because she yeah it just it just gets too much it just gets absolutely too much she's heavily pregnant by this no no she's had the baby by this point um everything's gone wrong and uh she just screams get the fuck out of my house and uh just goes on a little Violent spree, which then gets turned on its head, um, and she gets quite brutally. It's quite yeah, brutal film. It is very brutal, and actually, the the sort of the violence against her. her well, actually, I was going to say that was the unexpected bit. That's not true. The eating the baby was the unexpected bit because I did not see that. Yeah, coming. the most but disturbing the whole... baby scene since Train Spotting. The, the thing is, yeah, the the thing the thing is that the pregnancy was the start of the weirdness because. It just sort of transpired that they hadn't had sex or hadn't been having much sex or something, whichever. And then she accused him of this and then they immediately had sex and then she wakes up the next morning and she's like, I'm pregnant! And she's so like happy about it. And then they were like, oh yeah, baby. And then it's like, 
what? And then after that, it just gets really weird. And it's like... It's so you, weird. You know, I mean, yeah, I don't know. That was odd. So yeah, like, like Ed Harris... So Ed Harris and Michelle Pfeiffer turn up, to turn up as like weird strangers who are revealed to be like super like he's revealed to be a weird fan of of Javier Bardem's so was that poet true, guy. Is that what that was? Is that actually is that actually the truth? So I, I, so I think it is. I think it is. And so rude. But why were they so rude? Okay, right. Theory number one. This film is an exploration of the life of an artist. Right? Or or what it's like to be with an artist or creative mm-hmm. person. Javier by them being the poet, the artist in question here. And he basically just attracts drama because he needs the drama to fuel his writing. Everything is so lovely and idyllic in the beginning that he's not writing. But as soon as weird shit starts to happen, he's suddenly energized and he wants to keep that going and perpetuating that and escalating Isn't that. It's quite rude though. But that's, that's, but that's the point. It's insulting to artists. No? But that's the, it, well, yeah, it's quite, it's quite dark. But then, but then sort of the creative process is quite dark in a way like you have to give of yourself and it eventually according to this film just sucks everything in and eventually burns you out quite literally sort of suggesting that to be with an artist you have to give absolutely everything and then you're never going to get anything back yeah so it's a really dark romantic comedy so d- <laughs> i'm not quite sure it was as funny <laughs> funny as a comedy was it yeah, it's it was, it, so. So when we say black comedy, like yeah. this is this is the darkest <laughs> comedy. This is yeah, yeah this is I the dark was, timeline for comedy. I just I don't know. It it just by the end it was so weird that I was just like just staring at it like I don't know. I wasn't like weirded out in the way that I was lost in the film. I was weirded out from the way that I was watching the screen. Like what are these people on this screen doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like it gets it it jumps the shark. Uh, like when when the SWAT team turned, like when it, yeah. when it turned into a battlefield, that's and also when like I didn't the whole, really like almost concentration campy people like behind the chain link wire, fence. like yeah, like sort of putting their hands through and like trying to sort of climb out of this weird fence in the house, and then the SWAT team and there was that like, one guy that suddenly seemed to care about her because she was like in labor and everyone was murdering each other around her, and then he just got shot. But then and again, then, like, like I wonder, I wonder, what? I wonder if this is like a comment on fame in some in some aspect because like they're literally ripping apart her life, like so she's and her and well and and her so she's because she's the partner of this of this person and she and she she specifies that she wants a life alone with him but he secretly yeah. wants the fame and the accolades and the glory yeah. and attracts that but it becomes too much and then literally literally rips apart their house their lives yeah. and so like when so, so when it got to like the cultish bit with the baby that actually made more sense to me than the SWAT team because you can understand like the cult to, like a cult following this person being like oh yes it's part of you we want a piece of it yay and yeah. almost con- like disgustingly consuming it in a very literal way yeah. um, whereas I didn't really understand like the SWAT teams and no. the concentration tell, like, camps and the refugees and the, whose and the, yeah, side the SWAT team was on no. really they didn't really make any sense because it was like did they come to rescue her because apart from that one guy it didn't seem like it they just sort of joined in yeah I think you might be right. I think that's an interesting theory. I don't have a theory because I, <laughs> I'm sort of almost ashamed to say I have not got a clue. But so the thing I'm is, like, like we've, we've, we've literally just come <laughs> out of it. Like, we, we finished the movie half an hour ago, came home, turned on the the, the lights and went, what the fuck? <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is all just spitballing. We might come back in a week and be like, okay, we've done some reading now. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be rewatching it. <laughs> <laughs> if so that I if processing it involves rewatching, I may not process because I don't think I really need that again in my life. So I think I I'd quite like to rewatch like the second half of it because I thought the first half dra- it dragged on so I thought yeah, it dragged on. The a bit. first family were in the house for a really long time. Yeah, that whole thing was kind of strange. I want I want to I want to kind of go through it again because I don't understand necessarily the relationship between Jennifer Lawrence and the house. mm Hmm. Yeah, why did she sort of? Why was she able to like see the hearts when she put her hand on the wall? Yeah, that is, is it every? Is it like every heart the house has seen kind of thing? Well, I would have thought she wouldn't have sort of had access to that. So it was very strange that she could sort of feel that. Yeah, because at first, like, so so when she when she touches the wall, you you get the vision of this heart sort of calcifying, burning, yeah, yeah. carbonate. I don't know, um, but. At first, I thought that was the house's heart, but 
Is it not. not the other women's hearts? Yeah. I don't know. It's all open to interpretation. Like, <laughs> are the women in the walls? Did he kill all the women and then put their hearts in the walls? Yeah. This is this is the sort of film <laughs> that Mother is. These are the sort of questions mm. that you will come away from Mother asking. Yeah. Um, are the women in the walls? <laughs> And they might and, be. Are, the, yeah. are all the babies in the world? Yeah, did they all have a baby? Is also. That, did they always get a baby and then eat it? But, okay, sidebar. <laughs> how fat must that baby have been to feed all those cultists? Because you see the entrails of the baby, and there's still quite a bit of baby left, yeah. but they're all kind of munching down on the baby. No, again. see a little bit of a finger each or something. Again, these are the sorts of questions <laughs> that mother will encourage you to ask. These you never thought you would say. Right, we've got, we got one very serious, quite difficult question to answer, though. Oh. <laughs> Is it any good? <laughs> right. Um, oh. So. I don't think we've even decided yet. Okay, but we, we've got to give the people the verdict. One way or the other. Okay, so. Three, two, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. one... Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. So for the first time, we disagree. I don't even know what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? The thing... Okay, so no, I do know what I just did. And the reason I did that... I think that is the most mental thing I've ever seen. Like, it was so weird. I didn't get it, and I wouldn't watch it again. But... 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 It wasn't bad. I didn't not enjoy it. I didn't wish I wasn't in the cinema. I didn't turn it off. There are films that we have turned off. Not many. But there are a couple of films that have been completely unwatchable. Let's be cops. Let's you know who cops. you are. Jake Johnson, I'm disappointed we in you. More of you. <laughs> exactly. So I would not have turned this off if I'd been watching it at home. I wanted to see it through. Just because I wouldn't watch it again, it doesn't mean I didn't like it. I I think it's bizarre and strange, but it's gonna stay with me for a while. Not always in a good way with, you know, the eating the baby thing. But I don't think it was a bad film. I don't I didn't hate it. I'm not sorry I watched it. But yeah, your turn. What well, that was not the way I was expecting it to turn out. <laughs> so, so this is quite interesting because we never specified what our criteria for thumbs up and thumbs down would yeah. be. So we can change them pretty much <laughs> whenever we want. There are no rules. And <laughs> and the reason, so the reason I give it thumbs down, like I'm not saying it's a bad film. I'm also just not saying it's a good film. So I can't really give anyone a value judgment on this. So, I mean, if we could, if if I could stick it in the middle, I might, but we're not allowed to hedge our bets. No. That's the one rule we do have. Um, although we could have blown it up because Mother has no rules, so why should we? Uh, but, Very true. but yeah, I'm giving it a thumbs down because I need time, I think, to process whether or not it's actually any good. It's definitely weird. It definitely provoked a response and I guess art should provoke a response. But mm -hmm. like, you know, kicking a cat would provoke a response. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do that because... What's wrong with you? Um, I don't know where <laughs> I was going saying, with yeah. this, but uh, yeah, mother's mother's weird and it's thought provoking and it's kind of fucked up. But I don't know mm -hmm. if it's actually any good. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that, and I still gave it a thumbs up. Basically, we don't know. Basically, that, that is what we've learned. Basically, I guess you should you should just go see it if it yeah. interests you. If the, if if the idea interests you, if you're an Aronofsky fan, like. I mean, I watched half of Black Swan very sleepily on a plane, so I can't really remember that. And this is this is much more funny than Requiem for a Dream. Requiem for a Dream is not darkly comic. Requiem for a Dream is. <laughs> I'm also not. Com I don't know. Is this is this supposed to be darkly comic? Have other people laughed at this? I think I think it's meant to be darkly comic. You do, okay. and I think it's meant to be darkly comic because of something that happens very, very, very near the start, which is when the title comes up and the mm -hmm. exclamation mark comes in with a, bing, <laughs> and I just think. I don't think that, like, mm, I think yeah. that sets the sets a slight tone that yeah. it's not entirely meant to be taken seriously. Okay, interesting. Oh shit, do I want to change my thumb? No, you can't. No, because it's response. This is like your initial response. But the more I you think can't. about it, the no, more no, I'm going to no, change no, it. No, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late to thumb it up. So we're just done with phrasing, right? That's not a thing anymore. Anyway, I think we should move on. So yeah, that's and, uh, mother. Yeah. Sorry, uh, you, mother. <laughs> mother. You gotta do the eyebrows. Mother. <laughs> and so, I don't yeah. know why you gotta do the falsetto, but I don't know. Mother. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> Go watch it if you what want. Are you doing? Make your own assessment. Don't listen to us. Yeah. Although we also do. <laughs> but sometimes <laughs> listen to us. <laughs> Please keep listening to us. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications <laughs> to keep listening like. to us. Yeah, and and yeah. thumbs. Thumbs. <laughs>
Don't do what I did in films. Like, do, <laughs> film, do what she... Yeah. Listen to me. Listen, basically listen to basically, Ali. Basically, yeah. Um, so cool. yeah. Well, yeah, have fun. Enjoy. That's, yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> let us know what you guys thought in the comments. Please, please, please. If you've yeah. seen this film, please hit us up and let us know. Because, uh, I, yeah, it would be really interesting to know what you guys thought. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah. Yeah, we'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Clickables are on the screen. Check out some of our previous vids. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you Sundays. Spoiler alert. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.